The sound of galloping bison was once like thunder in the distance on the North American plains. For thousands of years, the bison roamed the ranges from Alaska and Canada's prairie provinces to the grasslands of northern Mexico. Bison, sometimes known as buffalo, are North America's largest land mammal. A bison bull can weigh over 900 kilograms, measure close to four meters in length, jump almost two meters high, and run over 40 kilometers per hour. Canada is home to two types, the plains bison and its lesser known and larger cousin, the wood bison. Bison are an iconic species, historically, culturally, and ecologically. Free-ranging bison were a driving force in the continent's grassland ecosystems, creating a mosaic of habitats and a food source for predators and scavengers. For North America's indigenous peoples, who had lived with the bison for thousands of years, this animal was fundamental to their physical, spiritual, and cultural lives. Leroy Little Bear, an elder with the Blood Tribe of Alberta, once said that despite the decline in numbers, the spirit of the buffalo never left their lands, and the transfer of animals from Elk Island back to the Blackfeet Reservation in Montana was the realization of a dream. He said, It is a good day for the buffalo, it is a good day for us, and it is a good day for Blackfoot territory. Parks Canada recognizes that strong relationships and reconciliation with Indigenous partners are essential to Parks Canada's mandate and is facilitating reconciliation by helping to reconnect Indigenous people with the bison. Parks Canada works with over 300 Indigenous communities across the country. The reason it's so important is because they have thousands of years of stewardship on these lands and Parks Canada is only 100 years old. So being able to work with people who hold that kind of knowledge is extremely important for us. The science-based approach is also extremely important. So when you look at both of them together, you can come to a good way of managing an area. In the early 1800s, herds of up to 100,000 plains bison were not uncommon, and a staggering 30 million dominated the land. Despite these vast numbers, their population came perilously close to extinction, numbering less than 1,000 by the end of the century. This dramatic decline was the result of many causes, including market hunting, loss of habitat, and unenforced early conservation measures. With bison on the brink of extinction, the Canadian government recognized the need to restore these animals and bought one of the last remaining herds from several indigenous ranchers in Montana. During transportation, a small herd was left at Elk Island National Park, where they thrived. Elk Island has a long history as the epicenter of world bison conservation, providing seed stock for new herds and an emerging bison ranching industry. Over 1,800 genetically pure and disease-free plains bison have been relocated across North America, including many to other national parks, where they flourish today. Parks Canada's journey to help restore plains bison has had its challenges along the way from which many lessons have been learned. Through these types of recovery efforts, Parth Canada is viewed as an international leader in nature conservation. For example, the International Union for the Conservation of Nature adopted Parks Canada's guidelines for ecological restoration as their global standard. We employ what is called the three E approach. That's effective, efficient, and engaging. It's effective in terms of using the best available scientific and traditional knowledge in determining the overall goals. Uh, it's efficient to ensure that we maximize the outcomes using the resources wisely. And perhaps even most importantly, it's engaging. We need to engage the local community, our partners, such as our First Nations partners, in the ecological restoration process. Engaging Canadians in authentic national park experiences is a cornerstone of Parks Canada's mandate, and bison are one emblem of that experience. Plans are underway to reintroduce Plains bison in Banff National Park in 2017, contributing both to the breadth of Banff's visitor experience and the ecological integrity of the park. Parks Canada, by developing internationally recognized 
principles and guidelines, as well as um, best practices for species recovery, will certainly be able to contribute to the global effort that other countries can adopt or adapt in their own programs in terms of species recovery. Parks Canada's efforts are a model for the world, providing conservation leadership, collaborating and reconciling with Indigenous partners, and presenting Canadians with opportunities to engage with our natural and cultural treasures. While bison conservation work is ongoing, Canadians can be proud of what we have already achieved. This story is an extraordinary example of how national parks have played an important role in bringing back a species from the edge of extinction to become an important legacy for generations to come.